Hey, 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 everybody, it's Mark from Feedem. So if you're starting a game for the first time, this is the view you'll see when you when you start your game. Um, in this case, this game has uh, four tile uh, Feudums to start, and that's our little Feudum right there. So uh, the first thing you want to do is just kind of get a look at the lay of the land and see what what you have within your feudum in terms of natural resources you can't see too far away because the fog of war is on but if you haven't played feudum before it's a tick based game so each turn is a certain number of seconds or minutes and so you have some time to look around and figure things out before your moves are due um, everything in feudums is driven by the uh, cards the information on the cards and everything has uh, tool tips that you can hover over to uh, get information about what's going on. So um, as I said, I don't have any natural resources in here, but in the upper right top are, is the market. And so if you're ever short of something or have excess of something, you can either sell or buy up there. So that's always a good thing to know as you're, as you're getting into your game. Uh, in this case, we have plenty of starting um, resources. So I'm not too worried about anything at this point, but we are going to need timber, lumber, probably sooner than anything else. And so if you look around the map a little bit, there's some, uh, there's a forested area to the southwest. And so I think our first move might be to try to annex a, uh, a tile to get closer to that particular forest. So we're going to go in. All the commands that you can do in the game are all on the right hand side. And the very top one is the, the annexing, the laying claim to additional areas. So feudums are, have a certain size limit. Uh, in this particular game, the, the limit is seven with no penalty and up to nine total max, but you have a, a big penalty if you get up to nine. So we're going we're gonna to expand at least to get to our seven. You do it, you just annex uh, territories that's next to your existing borders. So we just put that claim in. So it takes, if you look, it takes four turns. Um, every command that you put in has to be sent to the AI. If you don't send it to the computer to do, then it won't get done. So you, to do that, you need to hit that little bird icon at the very bottom right hand corner that sends off your order. So we've done that. So in this particular case, this will take four turns. So the next thing to, to see is we're probably going to need food. We're fine right now, but it is autumn. If you look in the upper right hand corner, there's a little uh, signature where the time is or the seasons are. And we're in fall. And so let's get a, a farm in the ground so that it's active and ready for spring when it's time to plant. And that will hopefully take care of our uh, hopefully growing population at that point in time. So we've got that down. Um, those are the biggest things you always want to see is where you're at in the seasons and always look at feeding your, your people because that's the hardest thing to do because um, it takes the most time. You have to, to actually have farmers out there and farm, farming comes in spurts. It's not you put a farm in the ground, you get X number every turn. No, you get uh, X number at the when you do your summer harvest or at the end of summer and you do some more in the, in the middle of winter when you're uh, killing your cattle and things like that so um, farming can be can be hard you just need to make sure you get uh, farms and farms in the ground uh, pretty much at the early start of the, each game so that you can make sure you feed your population at some point we're going to need more housing to do that you upgrade from hamlets to village to cities to cities with walls and as you can see like i said your fog of war is on so you can't see too far away right now you're going to need to actually build some military units and, and have them go out and scout and see what's around in the neighborhood but um the biggest things of course is to make sure your people can be fed so you want farms or you can, if you have a small population base like we do right now, you can probably get by with fishermen and hunters. But as soon as you start uh, increasing the size of your city, then you need to have some specialized farming. Um, different hexes can do different things. Your forests are the only supply of lumber, but you can actually plant a forest on a grassland, and it takes a lot of time to 
get it to that point where you can actually harvest lumber from it, but it will at some point. To put quarries for stone or mines for ore or gems, you need either a hill, a mountain, or a desert tile. And uh, we do have a desert tile to the immediate east of us, so that might be down the road of a future annexation attempt to go that direction as well. Um, again, right out of the gate, you just want to take a look at your neighborhood, see what you got for resources. If you got a forest close or in your in your existing feudum as it starts, count yourself blessed. You'll want to make sure you, you have lumber ready. And then uh, if you have hills or mountains or desert, you can try to get those as well for uh, down the road when you start building more stuff. You'll need uh, the quarries for stone and you'll need your uh, ore for the military units to make steel. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, like I said your victor conditions are down the bottom middle. You can always know what your uh, conditions are and where you stand versus them. Um, that's it. Thank you for uh, watching. Take care.